I don't know. I don't know if you remember that scene, but he yells, Ravenga! And we're going to be talking about the Revenger kit from Vade Gresso. I love calling it the Ravenga. That's just me. Stick around. Hello fellow vapors, Vaping Newbie here, and it's been a while since we did a hardware review, um, or overview as I prefer to call it, we're going to be talking about that, but the segue on how we get to that, it's when I ordered some Rude Boy E-Juice from Economy E6, and um, Economy E6 is one of my six or so vendors that I will constantly go to, because it's, it's a known quantity, it's known flavors, I enjoy it, uh, and all of a sudden Wayne at Economy e -Sigs, Plugs onto his, um, bear with me a second. Plugs onto his Facebook page, and by the way, Facebook page and their internet site down below. Um, check them out. Plugs in that if you buy a, a two 140 milliliter bottles of their e juice, the Rude Boy or the Potion Wizard, until September 30th, nearly over, you can pick from. A Vapor Asso Revenger kit, which is what we're going to be looking at. A Smoke Alien, a Smoke Alien, I'm sorry, iJoy, iJoy, look, iJoy Captain or a Tesla Steam Puck Nano. Steam Punk, not Puck, that's the Canadian name. Steam Punk Nano. Now, obviously, by the time you see this, that's probably going to be finished. Uh, today is the 26th, so it may be finished. Um, it doesn't matter. You want to, A, check out their juice. That's a given, okay? B, you want to follow them on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, um, they may have a Twitter account, so Wayne, if you have a Twitter account, please post it down below, uh, because when they have these things, and it's not the first time I've taken advantage of it, um, my Cleto 120 came from them via this way. I love their juice, so it's sort of like, it's like a bonus to buy the juice that I love anyhow, and I'm getting a kit, which I don't know anything about, uh, so it's well worth it. Laura, who Wayne always makes sure gets the credit for the making of the juice, is a master. This stuff is really good. So this time it was some uh, original gangster and some heartbreaker, which is like an apple. I've, I've talked about these juices before in previous videos. Please take a look. These guys are worth it. They're the real deal. And they do have hardware. They have lots of hardware. And they have like shirts and whatnot. And unfortunately, mine shrunk. Okay, okay. What? You want me to say it? I'm not going to. Uh, so, uh, you know, like a big thumbs up, sorry, Laura, a big thumbs up to, to the juice. It's just really, really good. You're going to want to check them out, folks. Um, but we are going to be talking about the Revenger Mod uh, kit. Sorry, it's a kit. Uh, and I like to call it Elevenga. It's, it's, it's the stupidity. So I hope you stick around. Uh, we're going to be looking at it. It's sort of like a duel, right? There's two pieces to it. We're going to talk about each separately. Um, I'm limited on how I can do things, so I'm just doing it the best I can. Obviously, I don't do this as a professional. It's a hobby, and hopefully people take something away from it. So, without further ado, let's get to the Venga for Revenger. Okay, so the front of the box is Revenger kit by Vaporesso, the little V, and then a, here it's a little design just around here of the, uh, the actual machine with the tank. So now we'll flip it over. So the back of the, uh, the box, on one side it's the specifications, and what I look at is the output power, which is 5 to 220 watts. Um, the resistance range is from 0.05 ohms to 5 ohms. It has the temperature control range of 100 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Celsius, and 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It tells you uh, that it can, uh, the output mode, you can have it in variable wattage, you can also have it in, in uh, temperature control, obviously. And uh, it also has a bypass. And, uh, bypass basically makes it a mechanical mode, and it takes two 18650 batteries, and of course they're not included. On the opposite side of the box, you have the contents, which is my favorite thing. Of course, you have the mod. You have what they're calling the NRG tank, which I kind of like. They have two coils. They call them cores. So they have two cores, and um, they come with an extra pirate's class. We're going to see that in the unpacking. 
as well as the uh, USB charger. So let's open it up and see what she looks like. Okay, the Revenger kit. I like Revenger, obviously. Slide out, and I love that they really take care in this. So you slide out the box, uh, the outer sleeve, if you will, and now you have the Vaporessor logo. Open her up, and you have two sides, uh, BMAs. So on this side here, this is actually quite simple. It's not a fold out, it's an actual box. You open this up, and inside is your instruction booklet, your warranty card, your inspection card, and the charge cable. That's going to be good for any updates you have to do as well. Um, though you have onboard charging, it's not something I'm a believer in. I prefer to use an external charger. And on the other side, the glory, that is the Revenger. So you have your tank, the NRG tank, and you have your spare glass, and then you have two, uh, you have the, the extra core, they call them, or coil head. You have one coil head installed, and then you have the actual mod. Now I chose the blue and black because I just, I don't have anything in this color, so I thought it'd be kind of nice. Um, I'm going to start taking this apart. We're going to take a look at the, the cores or the coil heads, and then uh, we'll get some batteries in this, fill it up with liquid, and take a first spin. Okay, so this is this this one was the spare, and it's got what looks to be a dual coil, but in actual fact, they're stacked. So there's actually four coils, and my belief is that they are Cantal. And on the side, it says um, that it's a 0.15 ohm coil, uh, recommended use between 35 and 75 watts, and it is best at 45 to 60 watts. This is the coil that was in, or the core, as they call it, that was in the in the tank to begin with. Again, it's a 0.15 ohm coil. It's rated from 50 to 110 watts, and best at 60 to 80 watts. The difference here, again, it is a quad, but it is running more in parallel. And again, my assumption is that it's cancel because it doesn't give any kind of uh, reading to the uh, to the otherwise as the other one is. So we're going to take uh, a, a look now at the mod, and then we'll juice up the tank in the meantime and get it going. So this is the NRG tank we're talking about. It's color matched to the to the mod. It's got dual airflow either side. It's quite tight um, to adjust it, and it is not a clicky type. Um, there's a technical term, uh, clicky type airflow. It just it's smooth and it locks, so you cannot spin around. Once you do, you're going to start unscrewing it. Um, the 510 connection is either silver plate or uh, stainless steel, and is neither adjustable nor spring loaded. You can see it's, a, as I mentioned before, it is a glass, and they, they do come with a spare glass. And the chimney goes right into that core or coil head as we know them. Um, the top, to fill it, you have that fill port on the side. The tank just swings open. And then they have this, uh, I don't know if you could pick this up, but it's like a spit screen. And I am not a big fan of these. But in order to get it going, it needs to sit. Now, I've got some Rude Boy uh, original gangster. I'm going to put it in there. Because you really have to let the juice sit in these things. You're going to get a dry a dry hit right out the top. But you can see how easy it is to fill. Close that off. We're going to put that on the side. And then uh, hopefully by the time we finish looking at the mod, you'll be ready to go. Okay, so there's the Revenger mod. Or Revenga. Um, I've taken off the plastic covering that's usually on, on the front and the back in this case. And you can see it's quite a fingerprint magnet. On the front, you have your up and down buttons, as well as your scrolling feature. Um, on the side, you have a very nicely placed and large fire button. On the other side, there's nothing there at all. On the bottom, they have some venting. There you go, some venting. And on the top, you have one of my favorite parts of this is the um, center 510 connection. Now, um, well, I like that. It just sort of completes it. Now, I take a 30 millimeter uh, RDA that I use, and I put it on, and you can see that it is quite large. It's not that big a deal. So um, your 30s will go there. I don't know. Those massive ones that people use these days, I don't know. Oops, got some juice on there. I'll get that off. Um, I did test it, and it is a spring-loaded uh, 
what looks to be brass coated uh, 510 connection. Um, on the back, oh, I'm sorry, on the front again, I didn't point this out. There's your outlet for your uh, USB charger. And that's, again, as I mentioned before, also good for uh, the, the updates. Um, you pop off the back and there's the sled. So they run in series. Uh, one battery will be positive side up and the other battery will be positive side down. It's got three magnets, two small ones at the top, a large one. I can tell you they are quite solid. Um, it's very clean. Looks very good. So we're going to put in um, the batteries. And you'll see when you get the, the, the cap on, it snaps quite well into place. And then there's your screen. Now we're going to be taking a bit more in-depth look at the screen because it seems to be a bit of a hassle. But once you're set, I think you're going to be just fine. So uh, bear with me. We're going to take a, a zoom look at it. Okay, so we're here at the main menu screen, and uh, we're going to show you what it takes to get here. But uh, here you have your selection. So number one is variable wattage mode. Uh, two is variable temperature mode. Three is the time set. Four is the default. Uh, five is the smart on or off. Uh, screen time out, and then exit is number seven. So I'm using this for the most part in variable wattage mode, so I'm going to click on that. And you got to hold down the button, and then it gives you three selections if you want normal, high, or soft. Uh, high is that you're going to get a, a, a real kick of power to start with. Soft, it will curve upwards, and the normal is uh, what we're generally used to. So that's what I'm going to choose. And if I go down to variable temperature mode, now it's going to automatically sync, uh, and you'll see how you get to it in a moment. Uh, but this allows you to set your wattage for the temperature control. And uh, we're going to just keep it there because I want you to see your time set. And we're going to talk about this in a while too. Um, it's your date time, so on and so forth. Your uh, defaults. So if you set it factory defaults, um, it, it just becomes a pain because it sets it back to the way it was in the box. So I'm going to say no to that. Uh, this is your smart on or off. What this is going to do is allow you to set up, for example, the temp uh, your variable wattage to, to deal exactly with what they think, their perception is, of what should be used for the coil. I don't want that. I know what I like, and I like to be able to um, uh, check it myself. Your time on your uh, screen timeout, so your screen will just shut off 15 minutes. That's fine. And then your exit. So if we go back up here to your variable wattage mode, um, again, it's it's set. You press that, it brings you back. You go to exit, you press that, and it brings you to system set. Now, this is where it gets fun. You want to get out of the system set, you just hold it, and it brings you there. So there's your variable wattage. So right here you have your batteries, and this is for all screens. You have your batteries. In this case, it says variable uh, wattage. It has the um, tank, or the atomizer, the um, resistance of it, I'm sorry. Uh, it has the uh, voltage that's going to use to attain the wattage you set for it. Um, again, it says normal over here, and then the wattage. And then at the bottom here, right here, it's sort of like a timer, which is odd in of itself. But now, if you want to get to anything else, you just simply press the button. Now you're in stainless steel. You'll see that everything in it is nearly the same. But now you have stainless steel up here with 75 watts. You set that in the VT. If I press and hold that, I get nickel. I get titanium. I get your TCR settings, so your memory settings, 1, 2, and 3. I'm sorry, 1, 2. You get a bypass, which almost turns it into a mechanical. You have your system set. And now you're back. And everything is set up. The pain on this is that you have to go through all this rigmarole to set up the basics that you need. But it's not that bad. Okay, we're going to go up top now and talk a bit uh, about this mod and this tank. Okay, before we get to the final thoughts, I did want to show you one more thing. Um, I plugged it into my computer to charge it, and you can see how uh, the batteries that you get that movement, so it is charging. Now, I did mention that I, I do not like onboard charging, I do not use onboard charging. 
but if you're in a pinch and you need to, this is what the screen is going to look like. And you can also notice that um, it gives you a percentage of, of the battery and uh, how long it will take to bring them to a full charge. Also, I'm going to disconnect that now. Also, if you hold the up and down buttons at the same time, your screen will flip. Now, I don't know why on a mod like this you want that, but there it is. Okay, when we're discussing the flipping of the, the screen, I don't know how many people would want the screen to look at like when it's like this, but it's there. Uh, so, that's it in a nutshell, and um, I have to tell you, I uh, the usage that I put this, this tank through, various wattages, various airflow, and um, I actually came to a point where I took this tank off and I put on my uh, 3 to 120. Um, I just like the flavor that much more. But again, it's important to say, sorry about that. It's important to point out that um, it comes as a kit. It's not a bad tank. It's, it, it's not something that I would buy to replace my Cleto, certainly, but it's not a bad tank. Um, I like the looks of it, and again, I just love the way they color match it all. It really looks good. So um, the, the tank is usable. I would, would I recommend it as a tank if I was going up against the Cleto? No. And again, it's a Cleto 120, I should always say that. Uh, I can't compare it, I just love my Cleto 120. Um, but it was in use for you know a, a while. I did use it for about a day and a half straight uh, in between uh, when I'm not using my RDA. And uh, it was okay, it was all right. Um, you just gotta break that core in a bit. And, and again, I can't stress this enough, you wanna make sure the juice is in there for a while. Um, now, uh, just a little pause and I'm gonna talk about the uh, mod. The mod is the key to me. Um, when I saw the deal at Economy E6, I, 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 I wasn't aware of this. I'm not as involved as I was. And I have two machines I have uh, that I use on a constant basis. Um, my other ones uh, crapped out on me. I, I don't use them, but I do have two machines that I use on a regular basis. And uh, this being a freebie with that deal, uh, when I looked at the three, I'm not a fan of smock. Um, that's just me. Everything that I bought from them had failed. Uh, so with the remaining options, I thought I liked the look of this. I only bought it purely on look. And Vaporesso has a pretty damn good reputation, and it's getting better, okay? Um, but the mod itself, I just love it. I like, I, I like the look of it. I shrunk it around, and people were just oh, it's really nice. And uh, where I work outside, there's more and more people I see vaping, and they sort of even gave it a second look because, uh, again, uh, as, 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 a, as a set, it looks really nice. It has more power than you need, uh, in my opinion. It, the functionality of it is quite simple once you get used to it. Um, the only downside that I have is that whole clock issue. If you're going to put in a clock, do something with it because uh, because I'm not a person that uses onboard charging. I'm a person that's going to use an external charger. Every time I take out the batteries, i got to reset the time and the date. Not worth it from my opinion. I work in jewelry. I wear a watch on a daily basis. Plus, i got a cell phone, so I don't need the clock there. However, if you're going to put a clock there, Maybe put in a, a little area to, that you can put in a small watch battery. I mean, these things can come really tiny. And it'll just keep giving you that power. And uh, even if you uh, take the batteries out, it'll just be continuous. And make it easy to change. Because I'll tell you, folks, changing batteries, watch batteries, ain't easy in all times. Um, the buttons I found are kind of close together. So you have the up and down buttons. Let's see if you can get a better idea of that. It's hard. The up and down buttons and the menu scrolling button, it's also put together in a couple of times I actually uh, lock the screen. And um, other than that, I don't have any fault to it. The magnets, there's no but button rattle at all. The magnets seem to be really solid. Um, and, and again, it's not four magnets, it's three. Uh, I like that I should get a charging screen that you get a, a better idea of where you are on it. Um, there's not too many negatives. I just you know, the, the, the menu, I'm sorry, I thought I heard something before. Uh, the menu is could be a bit of a pain, but again, it does everything you want it to. It's got all the temperature control mods, it's got TCR, it's got that, that smart setup, 
it's got bypass. And a bypass, it was funny because I, I was trying that, and it was just so powerful. It's got the three uh, areas that you can set up variable wattage, so you can have it high, low, or normal, or sorry, high, soft, or normal. Um, it really is something good. And uh, I believe Economy E6 sells the kit for $80, uh, which is, in my opinion, it's, it's a pretty good price for everything that you get. Um, I don't want to make it sound like, oh, it's nothing because, you know, it was a sort of gift of purchase. Um, but that's the beauty of economy usage. Um, I don't know if they have, Wayne, if you're watching this, you might want to put down below if you have a Twitter account. I don't do Twitter. But if you have a Twitter account, I guess some people don't do Facebook. Uh, but definitely, if you're on Facebook, you're going to like them. Uh, or you should like them because uh, that's when you're going to find out about these deals. Um, but all I have to say uh this is a winner. This, to me, is a real winner. It's a contender for a great uh, mod and a pretty damn good combination kit, okay? So that's it for all of this. Uh, before I leave, I do want to talk a bit about economy seeds and folks. I don't get paid. I'm not on their payroll. This is just my input that the juice that I bought off them, I, I just I love their juice. And I cannot say enough positives about it. So if you combine that, uh, try it out. They ship to the States for my American cousins. Uh, they do ship to the States. Um, it's worth the, the purchase given the Canadian US dollar. Okay, that in of itself. And then if you, you know, once in a while come up with cons, uh, deals like this, it even makes it more worthwhile. So, uh, thank you, Laura, for being that juice master and making such a good juice. And thank you, Wayne, uh, for always keeping us up to date on what's going on in the economy DC world. Uh, quality service, quality products, and ask for more. That's it, folks. Um, I hope you got something out of this, and you know I love having you over. So please, stay healthy, and happy vaping. Take care, folks.